Anne Killing a Tree, Class Ninth. Introduction. The theme of the poem is human attitude towards nature. There is no rhyme scheme, which means that this poem is a free verse. The poet is Gav Patel. Repetition of the poem is pulled out, which means the phrase pulled out is repeated in the poem many times. There are two messages in this poem. First. is conservation of forests and second is we should be strong enough for every situation in our lives this poem is ironical this means that words express the opposite effect which means that message of the poem is conservation but the poem is telling us how to cut down or kill a tree introduction with the poet gif patel was born on 18th august 1940 that is he is 81 years in mumbai he belongs to a group of writers who have subscribed themselves to the green movement which is involved in an effort to protect the environment his poems are how do you withstand body mirrored mirroring and some of his plays are titled princess savaska and mr bearman stanza 1 it takes much time to kill a tree not a simple jab of knife will do it it has grown slowly consuming the earth rising out of it feeding upon its crust absorbing years of sunlight air water and out of its repressed hide sprouting leaves so first is enjambment which is in the second and third line we can see enjambment is the figure of speech where there are no punctuation marks at the end of a line not a simple jab of knife after knife no punctuation after gown sorry after grown no punctuation will do it it has grown and also in the fifth and sixth line rising out of it feeding after feeding no punctuation and upon its crust absorbing after absorbing no punctuation then personification personification is comparing you giving human qualities to other human other living organisms so it has grown so growing is a human characteristic metaphor metaphor is leprous hide so leprosy is a disease a skin disease so like that they are comparing the diseased person's skin to the tree's hide coming to stanza 2 so hack and chop but this alone won't do it not so much pain will do it the bleeding back will heal and from close to the ground will rise curled green twigs miniature box which if unchecked will expand again to form a size so in the first line we can see tautology tautology is we, when we use synonyms or words with same meanings in a line so hack and chop hack and chop are two synonyms which are used in same line enjambment again in the fourth and fifth line no punctuations epiphora is when we repeat group of words at the end of a line Uh, end of many lines for example but this alone won't do it not so much pain will do it do it and do it is repeated so it is epiphora alliteration bleeding bark b b sound metaphor comparing without like or as so the bleeding bleeding human characteristic is given this is personification Stanza three. No, the root is to be pulled out, out of the anchoring earth. It is to be roped, tied, and pulled out, snapped out, or pulled out entirely, out from the earth cave and the strength of the tree exposed, the source white and wet, the most sensitive hidden for years inside the earth. So again, we have tautology in this, pulled out and snapped out. metaphor comparing without like or as 
so earth is compared to an anchor which is holding the roots alliteration same sound then we have anaphora what is anaphora when a group of words or words or a single word is repeated in many lines for example the source white and wet the most sensitive hidden the and the repeated this is anaphora stanza 4 then the matter of scorching and choking in sun and air browning twisting browning hardening twisting withering and then it's done so this is a stanza with having imagery which means that when we close our eyes we can imagine this so for example let's try it just close your eyes and then feel the stanza then scorching and choking choking in sun and air browning hardening twisting withering and then it's done thank you